Everything was all good. Way back in the day, then the whole hood really went well. Right, so do these clean effects. First thing you have to do is you have to do the clip in your song. And I got Lost Files with Polo G and I got a clip right here. So uh, all these um, maps right here is just because of an old highlight video. I'm using the same preset or whatever. But right. so you want to find the beat drop and line that up. So. Everything was all good. There's good. There's M to map it. Then you gotta find the point of your clip. So, let's see, for me, right there. And we'll clip it, and I'll show you guys how to line it up perfectly. So you tap on the map where the beat drop is, so you can get the perfect timing. And you can see it's a little bit too long here. So what I like to do is just cut it all the way out. And then you want to put it right where you see the red dots appear when you kill them. That's the perfect point for the uh, for the kill. So right there, you see these little red dots. That's good. Drag out the rest of this. So that works now. So next thing you want to do is you want to um, split right here. All right. And then you want to apply the, what's it called that I had? The, uh, the impact that I put. So for me, it'll be right here. God impact. For you guys, it'll be called Kale God impact. And then you want to. Everything was all good. Wait. You pre-render this so it doesn't get laggy really quick. Do that, you just drag with left click over your clip and then shift B. And it'll pre-render it so it sounds laggy. So. Everything was all good. Everything was all good. There we go. Then I want to split this. Good. Way back in the day to long. You guys can do, honestly, it's all preference how long you like to split it, but I just do, just for here, I'll just do it really fast. I don't be really taking my time on that part. Uh, Press U to ungroup the song and the clip left or hold control and left click to drag this out so slow down after the clip is also and then uh see i'll just drag this out i'll just fade it out the video all right so now you have your clip with the impact then for the buildup, which is what this point of the video is, the green ray. Um, you could use dark green rays, or you can use the regular one. It's really up to you, but I'm gonna use dark green rays. Uh, so you want to, um, it says minus 60 next to your right. Whatever that is, if you guys see that, that's how much frames you need to go back for your, for your uh, buildup. Sometimes people get it wrong. It sometimes doesn't work, I don't know. But most of the time it'll work. On this end, no, it does. So you go one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. You can count it all out. Uh, that takes really long. Or you could go down here. On this little point, double click, and then put minus 60. Enter. And then I'll go back 60 frames. Um, make sure you see that number up there, 89. There we go. Split that. Boom. And then you want to apply uh, the green rays. Make sure you get rid of all these unregistered. Just remove them all. Click on them, press remove. Add it. Add it. Add it. Add it. Add it. It's always super laggy. So once again, boom, hold over it, shift B, and there we go. Everything was all good. Way back in the day, in the whole. That's how you do it. It's actually really simple. Um, I have a lot more of these I can show you guys. So if you if you want to see some more, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. Or, Comment what you want to see next, more build up, some more effects, impact, over editing, whatever. It's up to you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.